New at four, neighbors are fired up over a crematory they say will be too close to their homes. Channel 2's Aaron Diamond is live in Douglasville with the action county leaders are taking after complaints poured in. Aaron. Yeah, Monica, right now, construction crews are inside the Joan Wynn's funeral home installing that crematory. It's all happening right across the street from this neighborhood, full of people who don't want it and can't do anything to stop it. Nothing, nothing at all. We found Roger Martin all fired up about a new crematory being built down the street from his Douglasville home. I knew nothing about it, and I found out about it from one of the neighbors up the street from me. His main concerns... Health risk and the odor. And county leaders admit fallout from the Jones Win Funeral Homes edition caught them off guard. We probably received maybe 15 or 16 phone calls from the, the area neighbors. Neighbors who can't stop it. No public notice needed under the county zoning rules since the crematory will be attached to the building. And state law requiring crematories be a thousand feet away from homes doesn't apply because the funeral home opened before the law was passed. The county board now looking to close those loopholes. As a go forward, one of the things we're putting in place is that any time you have some type of change like this, notice is given. Meantime, the funeral home's director called the crematory state of the art. Part of our family lives here in the funeral home. She has two small children. Uh, uh, not only the, do I want to protect the neighbors, I want to protect her. She's Dana Wynn promised the crematory will give off no odor and pose no risk to neighbors. The cremation is scary to a lot of people. And I, that's why I welcome to call me, come by. I want to explain this. I want to show them the data that we have. And in addition to requiring public hearings, county leaders are also looking at rewriting the zoning rules to make a clear distinction between traditional funeral homes and those that have crematories. We're live in Douglasville, Aaron Diamond, Channel 2 Action News. Now, Aaron, you mentioned that the county is looking to rewrite the zoning ordinance for funeral homes who want to build crematories. Are they getting any kind of guidance on this? Well, they need that guidance. Uh, folks here in Douglas County tell me this is the first time they've ever dealt with this kind of issue, so they've actually been uh, calling around to neighboring counties to see how their rules are written, offer them a little guidance, a model for their uh, proposed ordinance. We'll see what happens next. Thank you very much.